They charged up from the south full of vim and vinegar, proclaiming their desire to fight for L.A. The Rams rolled their eyes, flexed their flashy muscles, and won by unanimous decision. With a play-calling prodigy, a golden boy quarterback, and a slew of stars lighting up their massive stadium, the Rams captured Tinseltown's attention. In late September, they thumped the city's other team and route to an 11-1 start, making it painfully clear that the Chargers were strictly B-less. Victory, the Rams led wire to wire. Look, I get it. I grew up here. Feel the love in La La Land, you have to be sexy and successful. A Showtime-esque formula the Rams were quick to copy. The Chargers? Nah, brah. Playing in a bread box of a soccer stadium, typically overrun by fans of the visiting team, Chargers strapped on their chin straps, smacked down opponents, quietly got better and better and better. On a mid-December night in Kansas City, the Chargers had their coming out party, completing an epic comeback on a gutsy call by their no-frills head coach. Caught! It's good! It's good! Yes, Philip Rivers' throwing motion resembles a middle-aged beachcomber tossing a Nerf ball after his fourth beer. And most Angelinos couldn't pick the rest of the Chargers' NFL best seven Pro Bowl selections out of an NCIS Los Angeles casting call. That's cool. Glitz isn't everything, even in the entertainment capital of the world. You do you, Chargers. And know that if you do end up winning it all, one thing LA won't do is rain on your parade.